What's up guys? I got a call. Um, no cooling call here in one of the classrooms here at the school. Um, these are water sourced heat pumps. And um, so anyways, we're going to check out what building this is. It looks like we're going to be in 122. reading NX no power so we're gonna go check that uh, that room out and see what's going on over there alright so here's kind of a funny situation these uh, units um, are in the ceiling little 410 uh, heat pumps and there's a little control board up there that communicates with the uh, computer so usually there's a light blinking that'll tell you what's going on with the unit um, that doesn't even have power so um, what I did is followed my, oh, let's see, this is the uh, electrical panel of this unit here. So I followed the uh, Armaflex line to find my disconnects box. And whoever worked on this before, I'm climbing up the ladder here. Let's see if you can see that. This is our disconnect box. Box is left open, so the disconnect won't even turn on, so... Uh, I'm just going to close the box before I test the fuse and turn it on and see if this thing even turns on, so let's do that real quick. Alright, so now we're inside this little ceiling. I had to get on top of this cabinet. We're just going to shut this, see if this unit turns on. Ugh. There we go, see if it kicks on. Got a unit over here. Oh, what do you know? Everything turned on. Ugh. Let's look at that. And we got our green lights going on up there. So this unit's going to run just fine. Dumb. So that's all that's wrong with that one. Whoever came out here and worked on it before just didn't um, turn the disconnect back on. So we're out of here. All right, we're back at the computer now, and we're showing that this room is now cooling. Uh, this is that classroom where the disconnect was open. So now we're cooling in this room now, so good to go. All right, so we got a couple things going on at this site. Um, this room here, we're... Um, not cooling. We're set at 78 and the room is at 83. The unit's running and we're not getting any cooling. So um, just for now while I work on the other things, I'm just going to shut this one off. Um, maybe it's frozen. We'll hop up there after I take care of this uh, classroom that's not cooling. So We'll shut this one off and then we'll hop up on the roof and look at this one. All right. We're also going to be doing a uh, routine maintenance thing on uh, this unit up here today. All right, here we are up in this unit. I'm gonna plug the uh, disconnect back in and show you what's going on. Yeah, so we have our blower motor. This is like somebody put the wrong filters in here too. They're not even the right size. But yeah, just a second when the time delay goes. Presser will come on. Alright, so this unit has like a five minute time delay. It took a really long time, but alright, our compressor came on. But as you can see here, outdoor fan is not coming on. So I'm gonna check uh, this capacitor first. So we're gonna go pull the disconnect again and we'll check the capacitor. Alright, got this capacitor taken out. I'm gonna test it here. It looks like it's gonna be. Five microfarad, whatever we want. So, anyway, we've got this set to microfarad. We're gonna test it here and put the leads on. So we got something else going on. We'll just 
follow our diagram here and troubleshoot. Alright, I was able to uh, get the camera to run. But after testing all this, all the boards, everything was checking out fine. So I went directly to the fan, and the fan was actually uh, locked up. So they're going to need to get a new fan motor because I had to manually get that one running uh, because it was locked up. So it's running now, but I got a feeling once it's satisfied with temperature and has to turn on again, it's going to stop running again. So it's going to be a good fan motor, but I'll wash it for a cycle. So I'm going to button this up. It's the temperature outside. It's only 8 o'clock in the morning. Lane. Can already feel the difference just walking into this room. So we're gonna check our return. About 80. Supply is oops. About 60. So that's good. It's cooling well. So um, when that runs its cycle, uh, when it turns off, uh, we'll see if it starts up again. Might just turn this up so it satisfies a little quicker. Take this to 80. So when that comes down 3 degrees, it'll turn off, and I'll go check to see if that fan comes back on, if it's cooling again. So that's that for right now until uh, it cycles again. I went back up to this unit that wasn't, uh, the fan wasn't running. I went and got the uh, correct air filters for it. And uh, it needed a 20 by 25, and somebody put a 20 by 20, and then a 14 by 20, and they taped them together, and it's nowhere near big enough. I mean, it only had half of this evaporator coil covered, so we got the right filters in there now. And, um... I want to put the disconnect back in and see if that fan fires up. So, all right. This is the unit that I'm waiting for this uh, condenser fan motor to come on. So we, while we wait for the time delay, I'm going to change the filters on this train while I'm up here. And I just had to point this out. The hatch for these filters is amazing. Two knobs and it just opens up and there's the filter compartment. This is great. So, I'm going to change these. These are very clogged. Put some uh, filters in. But yeah, this hatch is great. See, this unit is very easy to work on. It has a presser compartment here, indoor blower here, and electrical panel here. So easy. This is a great unit. Well designed, anyways. So, Alright, we're going to change these. Alright, well I don't know if it was a fluke with this unit, but now the uh, outdoor fan motor is working just fine, so it's got new filters in it. I'm just going to make sure, since I'm going to be done with this unit now, I'm going to make sure I got it all buttoned up properly. Huh, that's odd. Um, panels are all on. Alright, well. All I did was uh, stick my hand in there and give it a little jump start and it was frozen, but now it's working fine, so. All right, I gotta modify these filters. I read when I opened the little compartment up here for these old filters, I read 20 by 20 by one, so that's what I went and got. It was 20 by 20 by one, but whoever, <laughs> Whoever, whoever did these units before is like, so what they did is they cut these ones down and taped them so they would fit in, so this filter was actually hacked up, so it was made to fit into the unit, so I'll measure what the unit actually needs and go get those. Alright, I got some new filters in here, I did the same thing, I had to hack these ones up because this is what I have right now, this unit's uh, So I'm working on this uh, ICP, it's a commercial unit, 
to stage and I swear sometimes you just run into some people's BS so for whatever reason this compressor is not even hooked up um, <laughs> whatever reason uh, so I'm gonna test this to see why it's disconnected and all the components for that compressor are disconnected uh, here's the wires for the compressor here so I don't know what the problem is here so gotta find that out then I look in here this is where the air filters are and there's old ones just laying in here and these ones that are currently installed are disgusting I'm like why would you just leave old ones in there like that it's unbelievable we're gonna get this one cleaned out here suddenly everything makes sense I was wondering why I wasn't getting any response from the thermostat inside and I took out the old filters that were the old ones that were laying here and underneath it is the thermostat inside the unit this is what's wired up unbelievable so I don't know and the coils are pretty dirty See if they're gonna want to clean these. These are pretty nasty, and this is the evaporator. So we'll see what they want to do when I test this compressor here. Let's do that now. There's that commercial ICP. It needs all kinds of work, but for right now, it's running. Let's see what uh, we're gonna do here on site. 